Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inez Lea and it's my last day for the Start With Stock series. It's been a true pleasure and honor being here. In the last two videos I showed you how to create a simple yet professional and cinematic intro, converted that intro into a motion graphics template and made sure it's ready to be contributed to Adobe Stock. In today's video we're going to do something quite different but I like some variation now and then not to get bored. <laughs> Alright so in today's video we're going to take this clip and make it into this clip. Cool right? Let's open up Adobe After Effects and get started. I will start by dragging my original footage into a new composition. I'm going to start by tracking my footage, so I'll add a new null object and rename it to Track Data. Next, we want to go to the Tracker panel. If you don't see that, you will find it under Window in the menu. We will track motion for both the position and the rotation. And select two points that are in the shot from the beginning till the end. I'm going for two points on the distant mountain here, as I think these points will hold best. Also try to find something as far as possible so the parallax of the sky is realistic. Next we can go to the libraries panel and select Adobe Stock for the search bar. Search for sky. This is a super handy way to search within After Effects in the Adobe Stock market. Super awesome. You can import previews and once you're satisfied with them, you can simply license them right in Adobe After Effects. I already have the sky, so that's why you don't see a watermark here. Parent the sky to the null object that we have tracked so it follows the motion of the shot. Make the sky larger and position it nicely in your shot. Then grab the rectangle tool and mask out the bottom part of the sky. Subtract this mask and then feather it so it looks something like this. Next. Select your original footage and duplicate it. Now bring this layer on top. We are going to transform this layer into a map that we can use to show our sky only in the sky. To do that we need to create a luma mat and make the sky white and everything else black so that only the white parts will be shown. In order to do this I will be using an effect called colorama. We can find this effect under effects, color correction, colorama. One of my favorite effects when it comes to doing something like this. I'll use the preset ramp gray and add a black point here and a white point here. Then bring these two points closer together until you have something like this. It's quite normal that not everything will be black but try to make sure that your sky is completely white and bring it in as good as possible so you get an as good as possible result. And then next we can add a new black solid layer and uncheck it so we don't see it. Now we want to grab our pen tool and mask out the white parts that we see in our black that should actually be black. Once you are done making your mask, we're also going to need to animate this. So once you're done, click on the stopwatch and keyframe this mask to cover all the white parts in the shot over time. Next we want to select our solid layer and our sky luma mat and pre-compose these. Make sure that you move all the attributes into the new composition and just rename it to sky luma. Make sure these are above the sky layer and now we can toggle the switches and set the track mat to luma mat. And now we have something like this. Great. Now I'll try to adjust the sky to fit in a little bit better so I'll add an effect hue and saturation and here I'm going to increase the lightness a little bit and decrease a little bit of the saturation. Then at a curves effect we're going to be using this later. First we want to fix a little bit of the spill around the mountains. We can solve this with a simple spill suppressor. It already looks good out of the gate because it's also blue, but uncheck this effect and then we can select the actual blue color, maybe that's going to do a little bit better of a job. Now it's going to remove the blue fringing and the blue haze on the mountains. Next I want to color grade the sky a little bit to match the scene a little bit more. So adding a little bit more green and blue, then I'll select the null and the sky and the luma layer and pre-compose this as my sky composition. On this pre-composed composition, select the layer and search for the simple choker and drag it on your layer, then set it to minus one to remove a bit of the details around the edges of the mountains to make it blend in a little bit more. Now we can also search for a planet, for example, in the Adobe stock, bring in a picture and mask it out, resize it, position it somewhere in your shot. Then jump into the sky composition and then copy the null and luma mat and paste it back in our original composition. Again put the luma mat above the planet and also add a luma mat to the planet layer. Then parent the planet to the null so it's also tracked in our shot. 
Now you can take a second ellipse tool and mask out a little bit of the bottom part of the planet, set this mask to subtract and feather it to get a result like this so it's kind of faded in the atmosphere. Next I'd like to use a color correction hue and saturation, play a little bit with the settings to blend in the planet a little bit more and then add a tint effect. In this tint effect select colors from the sky to get the atmosphere colors and then decrease the value a bit to make it a little bit more subtle. Now the planet looks pretty well integrated. One more thing that we can do and that will make it an absolute winner is jump back into the sky composition, copy the sky one last time, bring it back in our original composition and parent it again to the null. Put it on top of everything and then go to effect, keying, extract and extract the whites, bring out the lower point to feather the grade a little bit and you'll only keep the clouds. Duplicate one of the luma mats and place it above this layer and again we're going to add the luma matte effect so we don't see it in front of the mountains. Now we have clouds in front of our planet and that really sells the effect. Lower the opacity if you want and then finally grade your original footage maybe a little bit warmer so it actually looks like an alien planet. Alright so that was quite an explanation but I think it was worth it now you have a unique looking shot. Alright so I hope you enjoyed my presence here at the Start With Stock series. If you'd like to see more of me I also run a YouTube channel full of tips and tricks so definitely go and check it out. I'll see you there and until then take care and goodbye.